All righty. I'm going to show this bad boy off. Are we good? You're asking me if I'm, I'm good. Ready. Are you good? Matt and Shelby, come on in. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is huge. Look at this ship. You guys That's nailed amazing. it. That is exactly what we were looking for. You got a ship inside a ship. <laughs> it's ship shape. You hit it out of the park with this one. The harbor. We out of the it. harbor. We hit it out of the harbor. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, we told you you needed to fill the space, and you've done that. It's 3,200 gallons. 32,000 pounds. That's like five elephants sitting right here. <laughs> Holy ship. Holy ship. <laughs> <laughs> I've scuba on this boat. I've been down there and you nailed it. It looks just like the boat. The way the fish are schooling around it is exactly how the wildlife is down there. Using that app that you told us about, we were able to, you know, basically dive via computer. People are gonna be able to come in here, those that can't go 30 miles offshore, and be able to experience the Mohawk. It's gonna be like they were there. Showing what an artificial reef does and how that supports life, it's breathtaking. The detail is just amazing. Yeah, you can see the anchor line, the railing, gun up in front. And as a museum, that authenticity is really important for us. Watching the fish swim in and out of all of the openings, that's incredible. So since your tank is so large, guys, we have about 125 fish in there. Wow. Some of them are indigenous to the area, and some of them aren't. You have a French angel right there, which you'll see off the coast of your guys' waters. The spotted fish here, th those are really, they're beautiful, the way they're schooling. What are these? They're called scats. Some of them are in fresh water, but they can convert into salt water. So these guys were actually converted for salt water. Scats are hardy brackish water fish, but by slowly increasing salinity over time, they can thrive in a completely salt water environment. You also have a red goatfish in there. This is a kind of a bigger fish, but even though it's got a lot of size, it's pretty passive. Also, too, we have a custom coral insert, all molded off of real pieces of coral. The ship has a lot of grays and a lot of rust color to it, so we wanted to bring out some vibrant colors by doing the coral insert. Pretty impressive. 